That's just a snippet of what you can expect from the Traverse City Comedy Fest. It kicks off tomorrow and runs through this weekend, giving you the chance to see some of Metro Detroit's top comics. And for more info on the festival, we're joined by co-producers and comedians, Ann Duke and Mike Geeter. Thanks all for joining us this morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Ann. Happy to be here. Well, that's good. Let's start off with you, Ann. Give us a little idea about the history behind this, uh, this whole show. Well, this is the second annual Traverse City Comedy Festival. Uh, we launched last year uh, to just huge success. The uh, you know the idea of coming up to Northern Michigan in the middle of February might seem a little odd for most people, but it is beautiful up here, and uh, we have you know over a hundred comics that are going to be here over the next four days. So uh, and the the weather's looking like it's going to be in our favor. So we're we're super excited. Yeah, 100 comics, that's an incredible lineup. Now, Mike, I believe you and Anne are both going to be taking part in this comedic-wise as well. Tell us about some of the other people who are going to be at the uh, festival. Oh, boy, we have Rory Scoville, uh, who's all over the map um, as far as uh, uh, streaming services, and he has a great show on Apple TV. Uh, we have Joe List, who's kicking off the show tomorrow night. Uh, Zainab uh, Johnson uh, will be here. Uh, boy, Chad and JT, Norm Stoltz, uh, it's a, plus a myriad of other comedians and improv artists from all over the country. Now, one of the things I thought very interesting about this, Anne, is that you're having multiple stand-up and improv workshops during the, the couple of days of the festival. Tell us about those. Well, one of the things about this festival is we really see it as not just a festival, but a gathering of all these great comedic minds, both people that are in part of the festival and those that are just coming to be part of the scene. So we have four stand-up workshops on Friday and Saturday morning, as well as an improv workshop for adults and another one for youth ages 13 to 17. And the dynamic of more seasoned comics, mentoring and teaching younger comics, and the, the sharing of information information and the, the just the laughter that goes on is really really quite special you know mike let's uh, stick on that workshop theme for a minute if somebody's thinking about getting into improv or comedy what kind of mindset do they have to have uh, to really show up and take one of these workshops uh, first of all i would suggest not to do it i'm uh, <laughs> kidding kidding um <laughs> no they you, you have to have a spirit of fun um uh, be prepared to learn uh, there are a lot of uh, little uh, intricacies uh, involved in comedy and uh, improv, but once you get into the rhythm of it, it's there's nothing like it. So, Mike, if somebody asks you to describe your comedy style, how would you describe it? Oh, the best. I'm the best <laughs> ever. Uh, <laughs> and, and so modest. Yes, yes, yes it's about modesty. Um, <laughs> I, I talk a lot about family and uh, just everyday life, you know, dating and uh, just living my existence. I have a lot of stories. So a Anne, lot of stories. So, Anne, we've already established that Mike is the best, so that means you're probably a close <laughs> second. So what is, your, what, what is your comedic style? Yes, yeah, second best, I guess. <laughs> um, well, I am really that woman of a certain age who's struggling with middle age and uh, trying to grow older gracefully. And the, again, the challenges of dating, parenthood, uh, body image, you know, something that's, uh, you know, I have a lot of things that are a lot of... Uh, subjects that are very relatable not just to women but to to everybody in this in this aging bracket that i appear to be in <laughs> the, the unnamed aging bracket i love it i'm in yes. that one we'll leave it at that right, right, right. I, i'm in that one as well okay and give me a little idea of the comedy scene not only in metro detroit but across the state of michigan right now is it thriving what kind of state is it in Oh, I, I think it couldn't be a better time for comedy. You know, the, uh, the the internet and the ability to have a lot of content out in, in the world has really given a lot of people, uh, a lot of younger comics especially, visibility that you just wouldn't be able to get if you're just doing the club circuit and, and working shows and with producers like us and festivals. We have, um, you know, the predominance of the comics on the festival are from Michigan. And there is so much talent here. You know, there are little pockets in Grand Rapids, Lansing, yeah. certainly Detroit. We've got Traverse City. Traverse City. There's a whole big comedy scene that exists up here all year long. We're just here to help spotlight it. But uh, it's it's a great time. And a lot of people through exposure 
to comics like Chad and JT are coming out to see stand up for the first time ever and may not have ever really, you know, had it uh, had interest in that before. So it's it's super exciting. Yeah, I think COVID changed everything. Yeah. Um, with, you know, everything grinding to a halt. Uh, now there's this explosion and people that weren't out and about before uh, to check out comedy shows and, and check out different artists, they're now coming out. So this festival helps uh, uh, kick that off and, and uh, bring these people out to to enjoy all kinds of comedians, from clean to dirty, to improv, to uh, hip prop. Uh, there's a little bit of everything for everyone here. Yeah, it's going to be and, and sorry, I was just going to say, and putting a really positive spotlight on Traverse City and the the Northern Michigan region in general. Yeah, there's an incredible uh, variety of comedians out there, and you're going to be showcasing over 100 of them. It's going to be an incredibly fun time. Uh, Mike, final word to you. Give us an idea where people need to go to get involved in this, get tickets or whatnot. Uh, you can go to tccomedyfest.com uh, to pick up your tickets um, and see you at the shows. All right, I love that attitude. Mike, and thanks a lot for joining us this morning. Thanks Thank for having you. Us. Have a great day.